The old men are right, when this wind swings to the north, that bait moves offshore and goes deep. So what Brendan Hitch is going to go as a whiting, we know there's big reds running out there. We need to get some good meat to put out there on a long run. So she's going to go whiting, typical whiting rig for Brenda. That'll also land redfish and everything else. And we're now going to prepare a cut piece of whiting, keeping it aerodynamic for long distance. So we're back down here, he's going to show you what to do with this. Okay. I'm going to take the whiting, kill them as quickly and humanely as we can, and right through the spine. What I do is remove that gut lining. That's an aerodynamic bait. You can put that a long way. So I'm going to put that now on the breakaway PRIG1 and then back cast it out. I'm going to go up tide because we've got a strong current running this way. So I'm going to go up tide and cast it, leave it slack. Let's do catch some redfish. PRIG1, big rig, big 12 volt circle hook. Take it, put it through the chunk of meat like so. When you're using this rig and you've got a big bait, Go into the loop, into the impact shield. Let me get that. What that does during the cast, that will pull back and lock it into the bead. Great rig, allows freedom of movement. I'm going to go up tight and bang it out. strong currents coming from the north going south and the wind so we need to to make the sinkers whole we use what's called up tide fishing it really is the secret of using a lighter weight and holding really well so what I'm going to do is cast out keeping the line slack walk back to the sand spike and then I'll explain why I do it Checking the drag. Okay. We've got a slight bow in the line. The line is tight with the current. Let me show you why we're doing that on the sand. Come here. What we've done, walked up the beach. I want to do a diagram in the sand. Here's the truck. That's your surf line. Your current is running this way. So is the wind. So what we're going to do is walk up here. We're going to throw out as far as we can. Now, as the current picks up, 
so that it will turn and place it so the sink is pointing directly into the current, like so. Keep in the line slack, don't tighten it. That's uptight fishing. That sink will hold twice as hard because it's in pointing in the direction of the current. If you go and just throw out and tighten up, everything's across the current and it'll wash down the beach. That's uptight fishing, it really works. This rod is one that we've built with the tour of a boat. We've got two reel seats on it. We can do back cast and aft cast, real good system. Got a big redfish on here. Okay, he just got into the first gut, Nick said. So we'll pull him in a lot faster now that he's in that first suction. Getting him over the bar is the tough part. Key is you gotta stay in front of the fish. You just don't stand there and let him drift down. You keep walking up with him. We started out right at the... There he goes. Okay, he's coming. Keep it tight. Awesome. Good job, mate. All right, he just got come into on, another one. That's a shark. Maybe. Get that rod. Get it out of the way. This one's taking all. Big fish on this one. You want me to get that one? Go underneath me with that. He's not okay. Just all right. that much. But he's, he's moving real fast. Next time, see if you can't do it, spinning in one place. <laughs> How far are we come down the beach? I was worried because I've only got like 20 pound line on there. Oh, my God.